Hello all, welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's praise God. Let the church say amen. God has spoken. Let the church say amen. I'm going to be talking about falling from grace today, everybody. God has spoken. Let the church say amen. Um, the Lord has given me um, something in the spirit. Um, you all, sometimes he comes to prophets in different places, especially in bathrooms. Um, sometimes I, I, I receive, um, hear um, things re revealed to me sometimes in kitchen and the bathrooms and places like that, you all. So um, God gave me Fallen from Grace and he gave me tarot card reading. So there's people that's um, in these divination type things and they're falling from grace and, and believing that they're supposed to walk in the law and not through faith, through the crucifixion, through the crucifixion, I'm sorry, through our Lord Jesus Christ and Nazareth, who was and is to come, that people thinking that they can be saved through law and walking through the law and Old Testament and everybody. So um, we're going to have to deal with some things, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about this, and I'm also going to bring to you, um, Esther has been in my spirit, um, you know, Esther and, and, and Haman and and Mordecai, and, and Esther said, if I perish, I perish. She stood up for Israel, for her people, everyone, and the king's courts. Uh, um, um, she she, she um, was married to um, Hazarias, King Xerxes, you all, and we know that she was very beautiful, and um, he was listening to Esther and some things uh, that she was um, bringing to the forefront about Haman. Uh, we want to I rebuke the Haman spirits in Jesus' mighty name. Let's praise this video. Let's let's cover this video in the blood. Father God, may you cover this video in the blood. The send the receivers, the listeners, oh God. Let wisdom, knowledge, revelation come forth, oh God. Let someone be healed, sealed, transformed. Let your warring angels, flame of swords, all rankers, and divisions, Michael, the shredding angels shred by fire, everything that want to hinder us and our plans that you have for us, oh God. Protect, seal, and heal us in Jesus' mighty name. I bind anything that want to devour it, anything uh, that want to come up against the word of God, the prayers must crash and burn by fire in the name of Jesus. Father God, let your listeners, viewers, receivers be saved, healed, and blessed. Let us pray for others, stand in the gap, and anointed through the word, which changes not sharper than any two-edged sword. I thank you, Father. This video is covered in the blood. May the blood of the Lamb be on your doorpost that the enemy must pass by. I was in a, a very uh, a strong prayer uh, a mood uh, this morning, you all. Um, whereas I just get in prayer lately. I was like, I just can't stop praying. I'll be praying for hours, seem like. And I'm um, just praying for everybody. I'm praying for y'all. I'm praying for family members. Praying for, for, for neighborhoods. Just praying for everybody because the, the enemy... See, see, it's very, very present, you know, in people's lives. But we have to know that we have all authority. See, the, 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 the Satan does not have, the enemy does not have authority over us. All right? He does not. See, that's what I want uh, people to believe and understand that uh, there's no authority uh, 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 that he has over us. All right? It's already completed. The Father sent His Son on the cross and redeemed us, all right, from the curse, everybody, all right? So I received in the bathroom, I, I heard very strongly tarot card reading and falling from grace, all right? So if we believing and doing divination things, if you preaching different things that's not of God, you you falling from grace, okay? Because we cannot be saved through the law, all right? Through the law of the Old Testament. We are saved through faith, through the grace of God. It is grace and his mercy that we may save us. That's does not boast, oh God, okay? Okay, let me, let me give you, first of all, may God add a blessing to the reading of his word. Father God, let us receive wisdom, knowledge, and revelation of what you're trying to say. Let every uh, 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 ear hear, I see, eyes have not seen, or ears, ears heard. Jesus' name, I'm going to start with Galatians, everybody. I'm going to give you this from Galatians 5.4. When Paul was talking to the, the church of Galatia, okay, he said, Christ is become of no effect unto you. 
whosoever now of you are justified by the law, ye are fallen from grace. See, because we are not justified by the law of the Old Testament. See, the father sent his son when he was crucified. We were crucified with him to partake on. He partook our sin debts. All right. So we justified the, the faith, the grace of God, the faith of God, the mercy. All right. Not by works of anything that you're doing. You're not justified by your works. You're not justified by law. You're not justified for something that's other than God. All right. We have to put on that whole armor of God. Holy Spirit, speak to me, please. We have to put on that whole armor of God and stand up firm in Christ. He said, for we through the spirit wait for the hope of righteousness by faith. For in Jesus Christ, neither circumcision availeth anything, nor uncircumcision, but faith, which worketh by love. See that faith. See, it's the faith, you all. We have to get this, that it's the faith through Christ Jesus who saved us through his amazing grace. All right? So we've, you've fallen from Christ when you're doing other things. See, you know what was a, a situation of falling from grace? When Adam and Eve was in that, in that garden. All right? They have fallen from grace. Because they was walking with him and then they decided to go disobedient to go against him. When he said, don't eat it at, at a tree, that forbidden fruit. And they wanted to go and, oh, the serpent, Eve, oh, the serpent, beguile me. Here, here Adam, you, you can have this. It's okay to eat. Tempting them. Okay? So they fell from grace. So it's when you, in a situation where you've come away from Christ, when you come away from the faith of God, when you come away from his healing, when you come away from the newness that he has for us, the righteousness in Jesus name, when you're walking in disobedience, you falling from grace, the guilt of disobedience, everybody. See, the, the uh, innocence of obedience you, you have in the beginning and then you can fall to the guilt of disobedience. All right, falling away from the faith. Okay, so we cannot be saved by the um the the law, the idolatrous ways, but we must be saved by grace through faith. It's imputed for righteousness. For we through the Spirit wait for the hope of righteousness by faith. For in Jesus Christ neither circumcision availeth anything, nor uncircumcision by faith. But faith, which worketh by love, ye did run well, who did hinder you that ye should not obey the truth. This persuasion cometh not of him that calleth you. He said, a little leaven, leaveneth the whole lot. I have confidence in you through the Lord that you will be none otherwise minded, but be that trouble if you shall bear his judgment whosoever he be. See, y'all, we have to know that we 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 are judged. We are judged. And if we are walking in, 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 in unholy things, okay, ungodly things, okay, um, you 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 in bondage of sin. All right? You in bondage in sin. All right? Because God has transformed us through his son, through that blood. See, he didn't die for nothing. So it's in none effect. This is to no effect if you're trying to walk in the law of God. If you're trying to walk in the law of the world, if you're trying to walk with the lamb sacrificing bulls and rams and axes, it's no longer you will, no, are not walking in that. All right? It is through faith that we are saved. Through the risen king, when he gave his son on that cross to give up his life for us, it was imputed for us to righteousness to faith. We are saved and healed. See everybody? So in Colossians 2 sister says, as ye have therefore received Christ Jesus. So wait on him, everybody. All right, he said, Oh, you foolish be Galatians. Galatians 1 6. Who has bewitched you? He says, Who has fooled you? 
See, we, we can't be in foolery. We can't be in tarot reading. We can't be uh, serving the law. Think we can uh, uh, sacrifice bulls and lambs and giving up cows and, 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 and thoroughbreds and things like that for taking up uh, uh, sacrificial lambs to the altar anymore. All right? That can't justify us. Our works can't justify us, okay? All right? And, and back in the Old Testament, God had to give, they had to uh, 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 give uh, 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 lambs and, and, and goats and, and, and without spot or blemish. And they had to give up the animals for sacrifice. But when, when Christ died on that cross, our flesh was crucified in hell. See, so we can't walk uh, sacrificing bulls and lambs. See, what happened when God took Isaac up on a mountain and, and said, sacrifice Isaac? He said, put Isaac down. He was just trusting his faith. See, some God, some, sometimes our faith is tested. God is trying to see how far you're going to be obedient to him. But he, he had given um, Abraham that ram in a thicket for us, okay? So we got to realize that it's not of works that we are saved. It's not of, 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 of the law that we are saved. It's through the faith of God. Through the obedience, okay? So he says to don't fall in error. Ephesians 2, 8, 9, it is through grace for you have been saved, right? So we are not to fall in error, you all. So if if, if, if you are somebody that's in divinations, witchcraft, reading tarot cards, you fall from grace, okay? Because we know that it's, it's sin is death. But the gift of God, thank you, Holy Spirit, is eternal life. All right. So you are falling from grace if you you in foolery, if you in foolishness, if you in divination. He said to come out of the evil things. OK, everybody. See, many are called and few are chosen. The flesh is weak, but the mind is willing. But we must know that um, it, he was imputed for righteousness. All right, for our sins, when he gave it up on the cross, I don't have to go and, and pray and say, Lord, he is a goat. He is a lamb. My offering, he already had paid my sin debts. If I believe on him, if we believe on him, it's paid. The debt is paid. All right, it is forgiven. Your sins are forgiven. He wipes us clean, okay, with his anointing, his fresh oil, his fresh wine skins, having uh, the anointing oil uh, uh, in you uh, 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 um, and walking upright like the five virgins that were wise, all right? So I, I'm going to give you something in Esther. Esther is in my spirit about um, Haman and Esther, everybody, okay? Now, um, I rebuke the Haman spirits. Because they are Judas spirits, they are Haman spirits that are out here, everybody, and they want to devour. They want to seek and devour. But God do away with the Haman spirits. So I rebuke the Haman spirits, such a, a legion of angels, warring angels come down by fire, swords, and flaming swords and divisions, and your shredding angels to shred and devour by fire every Haman spirit, every Judas spirit, to fall away from us. In Jesus' name, I bind it. To the pit of hell is stay now and forevermore. Now, Queen Esther, you all, we know that she had to hide her identity. All right, she had married um, um, Ahasuerus, King Ahasuerus. She had a cousin, um, Mordecai. All right, everybody who um, who tried to disguise her as a Jew. All right. So we know that with Esther, Esther stood up as a bold woman through faith, all right? She was favored over the other um, concubines, okay? And she came up against opposition from a man named Haman. Haman was there to um, get rid of, uh, to exterminate the Jews, okay? And, 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 and um, Esther went kind of undercover as a Jewish woman, okay? So she had to go and tell her husband what happened, you know, in the royal palace about how Haman was trying to plan a scheme, 
against the Jews, okay? And um, but Haman's plan backfired. See, that's why God is trying to do away with the Hamans in our lives. He'll make that plan backfire on them. All right? Because you got to realize what happened. My favorite book of Daniel. Okay? When King, when, when King Darius had put uh, uh, um, Daniel in lines, then which he didn't want to, he was tricked into that. All right? He threw the men that, uh, that accused Daniel and it came... The trick that trick Daniel, uh, um, he threw them in a fire furnace. Okay, he threw them in a lion's den. I'm sorry, in a lion's den. So Daniel, God shut the lion, the mouth, the the, the, the mouth of the lion, and he and it would not touch Daniel, cause he had the favor of God on him. Oh goodness, I feel the spirit. God is shutting the lion's mouths right now from your enemies. Okay, so let's go into this, everybody. Esther. The book of Esther and chapter six, verse seven. And Haman answered the king for the man whom the king delighteth to honor. Let the royal apparel be brought, which the king useth to wear. And the horse that the king rideth upon and the crown royal, which is set upon his head. And let this apparel and horse be delivered to the hand of one of the king's most noble princes that they may array the man with whom the king delighteth to honor and bring him on horseback through the street of the city and proclaim before him, thus shall it be done to the man whom king delighteth to honor. All right. Then the king said to Haman, make haste and take the apparel of the horse as thou hast said and do even so to Mordecai the Jew that sitteth at the king's gate. Let nothing fail of that thou hast spoken. Then took Haman the apparel and the horse and arrayed Mordecai and brought him on horseback through the street of the city and proclaimed before him, thus shall it be done unto the man whom the king delighteth to honor. And Mordecai came again to the king's gate. But Haman hasted to his house mourning and having his head covered. See, it, Haman was tricking King Xerxes Ahasuerus. He wanted to say that Ham that that Mordecai was doing things. Uh, um, to, he wanted him killed because he was plotting and scheming. All right, but Mordecai had did something for the king, and the king forgot about it. All right, he had helped save the king. All right, and he forgot about that, and when he was brought it back, back up to his mind, he wanted to honor uh, Mordecai. Now, Haman was plotting to kill Mordecai, but the king wanted them to be honored. So Haman's plan backfired. Where Haman had, God sent Haman to, to perish because of his plot. He was trying to exterminate these Jews, okay? And Haman told Zeresh, his wife, and all his friends, everything that had befallen him, then saith his wise men and Zeresh, his wife, unto him, If Mordecai be of the seed of the Jews, before whom thou hast begun to fall, thou shalt not prevail against him, but shalt surely fall before him. And while uh, they were yet talking with him, came the king's chamberless and hasted to bring Haman unto the banquet that Esther had prepared. See, Esther prepared a banquet, all right, because she was going to expose Haman. So the king and Haman came to the bank with Esther the queen. She was a she was a very a woman that was very wise. And the king said again unto Esther on the second day at the banquet of wine, "What is thy petition, Queen Esther? And it shall be granted thee." So the king was saying, uh, "Whatever you ask me, it shall be granted." And what is thy request? He really loved. He loved her. He was she was beautiful, and he he, he favored her. And it shall be performed even to the half of the kingdom. Okay, so Esther, she, she, it was in her court. Then Esther the queen answered and said, If I have found favor in thy sight, O king, and if it please the king, let my life be given me at my petition and my people at my request. See, for a certain time, I think it was 30 days that you could not go into the king, okay, and ask him anything, or you could be killed, okay? But this, she she was um, given favor. For we are sold, and I and my people, to be destroyed, to be slain in the parish. 
she's telling the king, her husband, she say that the Jews are to be slain, okay? But she was standing in the gap for them as, as a proxy, okay? But if we had been sold for bondmen and bondwoman, I have held my tongue. Although the enemy could not countervail the king's damage. Then the king has arise, arises, uh, 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 answered and said unto Esther the queen, who is he? Say, who is this person? And where is he? He say, he say, Dirk presume his heart to do so? So Esther said, the adversary enemy is the wicked Haman. Wicked Haman, a Haman spirit. Then Haman was afraid before the king and the queen. And he was afraid because his plot was unleashed. Okay, he was found out. All right. And the king arising from the banquet of wine and his wrath went into the uh, palace garden and Haman stood up to make requests for his life to Esther the queen. For he saw that there was evil determined against him by the king. So he was scared. Now Haman, his plan, his plan was backlashing on him. It was boomerang back towards him. He planned to kill the Jews. He planned to uh, ki uh, uh, kill uh, Mordecai, Esther's relative, and, and come down on him. And it backfired on him. So then the king returned out of the palace garden into the palace of the bank of the wine. And Haman was falling upon the bed whereon Esther was. Then saith the king, will he force the queen also before me in the house? So he was saying, will he listen to what she's saying over him? As the word went out of the king's mouth, they covered Haman's face. And Harbona, one of the chamberlains, said before the king, Behold also the gallows, 50 cubits high, which Haman had made for Mordecai. God, I tell you, who has spoken good for the king. See, Mordecai has stood in place for the king. Okay, in his plate to, 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 to favor, the king's favor, standing in the house of Haman. Then the king said, hang him thereon. So they hang Haman on the gallows that he had prepared for Mordecai. Then was the king's wrath pacified. On that day did the king Ahasuerus give the house of Haman, the Jews' enemy, unto Esther the queen. And Mordecai came before the king, for Esther had told what he had was unto her, had did unto her. And the king took off his ring, which he had taken from Haman, and gave it to Mordecai. All right? So, so, so Mordecai received favor. He was to be persecuted. The plots and plans, the schemes, was trying to come up against him and the Jews. But God favored them. All right? He protected them. He shut that lion's mouth. See, this is the time we're in right now. We ended to the time where God is shutting the Hamans up. He's shutting down the Hamans in your life. He's shutting down the Haman spirit. He's shutting that lion's mouth like he did in Daniel's line. Then that he cannot touch you or devour you. See, the enemy's plans will go back and reverse. Okay. And backfire. All right. Because God is a God that shall not lie, everybody. He shall not lie. There's no sin in him. See, he's all powerful. He is no respecter of persons. Okay? And said, if it please the king, and if I have found favor in his sight, the thing seem right before the king, and I be pleasing in his eyes, let it be written to reverse the letters devised by Haman, the son of Hermenadath, uh, 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 the Agagite, which he wrote to destroy the Jews, which are in all the king's provinces. See, this is powerful. The enemy, all right? He's to still kill, destroy, seek, and devour. But God say, hold up a minute. I shut the lion's mouth. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego was in that fiery furnace and was not touched. They said, I see a fourth man in the fire. I thought it was three put in there. The furnace was heated up seven times hotter. But the plans black fired. I'm trying to tell you right now, and I can feel his anointing on me, that your plans are the enemy that try to come up against you seven times more. See, God is more than enough. His grace is sufficient. He's more than enough for us when we walk with him. So he is shutting the Hamans up right now. He's moving the Hamans out of your life. He's moving the Judases from you. 
All right, when your enemy come against you as a flood, the Lord raises a standard against the seven times. It must flee. You flee from God's children. Satan, you take your hands from God's children. God, rebuke you, Satan, in Jesus' name. I plead the blood over these prayers. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue shall confess. And Jesus Christ is Lord. When the Romans was trying to uh, uh, come up against the Lord, he said, you have no authority over me from my father in heaven has all authority. See, you all got to get this. God in heaven has all authority. There is a hell. Okay. So the Hamans, that's where they will go when they don't turn. See, the enemy, there's a place called hell. There is so many people out here right now that don't believe in hell. They don't believe in hell. You had people like Meredith Baxter that 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 that, that, that was shown hell, was shown a lot, prophetic in the prophetic realm, things that God hadn't shown uh, other people, some of the things he showed her. And um, I mean, powerful visions, powerful testimonies. And people are, are doing things, they're killing, they're murdering, they're doing things, and they're, they're in tarot card reading and all these type of divination things, witchcraft and and, and all these bewitched. God say, who bewitched you? Father God. He say, who bewitched you? Ephesians 2, 8, 9, it is through grace for you have been saved. He say, don't fall in error. Don't fall from grace. We can't walk in the law. Sacrifice blank rams and bullocks. He is our sacrificial lamb of God. Okay. The true gospel, the death, resurrection, and, God, and, and burial is what we must teach, is what we must believe in. He forgive us from our transgressions. We were bruised for the iniquities, chastisements upon us, and by his stripes we are healed. He say, foolish Galatians, who bewitched you? So who bewitched you? If you in, in divinations, if you're thinking you're still supposed to sacrifice bulls and lambs and bullocks uh, uh, for the sack, and God is our 